So, hi. Um, so there were three, first of all, the three of us in our group. Alex has had the lead early. Uh, Alex proposed this yesterday. Um, catch the train up back up to Sanders. But, um, so code for Rev. So first of all, Rev for anyone who is uh, not from UK, not from PG, um, is the Research Excellence Framework for evaluating uh, research institutions. Ask any of your colleagues here from uh, uh, from UK HE and I'll happily tell you how wonderful it is by everybody <laughs> <laughs> um, But research software is um, eligible for REF submission, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's rarely submitted. And the systems that are used at institutions to manage the REF, there's quite a lot of management, um, focus on publications, and recently there's, there's some stuff with data sets, um, not so much software. But these systems can, in our experience, manage software, it's just not obvious um, how, to, how to do that. So we've created this website at codeforref.github.io uh, to provide uh, guidance to research on recording details of their software in a current re research information system, as these systems manage REF stuff are called. So the documentation currently draws on our experiences with uh, the Pure system at St Andrews and the RIS system um, at Nottingham. Okay, so we, we took a look at um, these two systems and we created pages for each of those. Um, I'll start off with the RIS because that's the one that I'm used to at, at Nottingham. And we basically did some screenshots and it's to, to give a guide of how you would get your software output using these systems because it's not obvious. So if you go into a new output, at Nottingham and try and add something manually, in order to put in a piece of software, you have to select a digital artifact and then that will get you to, that that re, um, refreshes this type um, box and then you do get some software. But it's not immediately obvious how you put in a piece of software. Once you've done that, then you can go through and you can put all your information in about your software and you can see I've done this for the text gen. So I now have text gen on our on our RIS system, um, and then you populate your things. The peculiar thing about the one at Notting, uh, this one, is that you have to submit your um, output and then go into your record, and only then can you put in authors. So it's only at that point that it gets linked to your profile. So that's a bit a bit weird. Um, there is a facility to add it by DOI. Um, that I couldn't test that because I couldn't uh, actually get a, a DOI. The, the text gen one was obviously at that point already in the system, so um, I haven't been able to test that one. So um, the, the pure one, again, some quirks, so you have to put in a non-textual form and then that gets you to software um, and then the information is there about what you need to put in. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, so, I mean, you can add people as authors, Pure actually does have a feeling for developer, which is quite cool, um, but there's nothing for maintainers, or testers, or uh, any of the other roles that you might think of, think about, so there's lots of things which can be improved in these systems, but you can get the software in there. So, as well as providing guidance to researchers, this website should also help uh, administrators of these systems to see that software is supported by them, so it usually completely flies under the radar. Um, and hopefully then encourage them to feed back to them there's high research software can be better supported. This happened with data sets several years ago. I know in Pure it all used to be research outputs. They're not data sets are a separate thing now in Pure. Um, and there's no reason that same process can't happen for software. So we have uh, on the home page we have detailed links to uh, UKSA's UK survey which identifies which systems are used across uh, the UK. We've identified seven. Uh, and we only have experience in two of them, so we're going to, this is going to be a really useful resource, we're going to need other people who use these other systems to contribute. It's also not clear to us entirely how much of the functionality we're seeing is a function of the product itself and how much is uh, the configuration at the local institution. So this, this is going to be ongoing work to improve this. Um, so in terms of the impact we think this can have, uh, so software is, I mean, we all know software is an, an afterthought when thinking about uh, research outputs in, in most uh, uh, contexts. We're hoping we can go some tiny way to addressing that. Um, 
uh, it's a documentation that will uh, facilitate recording of uh, software produced at an institution. So allowing us to help a clearer picture of uh, the volume and range of the software being created. And encouraging researchers to record details of the software to address the ref also encourages them to make 